Welcome back to Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists. This week on the show, you don't know them, you don't love them, but they're the reason that the people you know and love are doing what they do. That's right. This week, we're talking to assistants. Assistants play a crucial role in Hollywood in getting the people that they work for to certain places at certain times. So get that text ready, make a call in, and wake them up at any point in the morning. Let's listen in. Hi. Hey. Wow. What is up, everybody? Great to see everybody. This is so exciting. This is great. Oh, my gosh. It feels so crazy. I don't have my phone. Yeah, this is – I'm going to get in a lot of trouble. I'm going to get in a lot of trouble. I locked it in a box. Like, I literally locked it in yeah. a box. And I'm you so locked jealous. it in a box? I'm so jealous. I can't do that. I'm not allowed to do that. I'm so jealous. I do have my phone on me. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, uh, you got it in? You got it in? I got it in. They let me – yeah, I – Let's be honest. I think we've all had to sneak our phone into places yeah. we weren't supposed to mm -hmm. have them. I did have to sneak my phone in, and I let's just say, don't touch it. <laughs> well, now that we're being honest, I did bring the key to the lock that has my phone in it. Okay. I I couldn't I couldn't not I couldn't not. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now that we're being honest, I'll also say I have a hearing aid in, and it's not so I can hear you guys. It's so I can hear my boss. Oh, you have okay. an like an in ear for yeah. Yeah. <laughs> an IFB. It's not an aid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if you're being honest, I actually have a second sh phone in my shoe that I can get out at any point. I just have to cut my shoe open. But it's, it's ready. <laughs> if it buzzes, it's ready. So. But and it's, if we're honest, I do have Google contact lenses. So yeah. I am yeah. checking emails. <laughs> but it's so good to not be worrying about work. Yes, uh, of so course. Nice it's so good that we're all It's so, it's so nice. really, really, really awesome. It feels so crazy. It feels really good. It's so crazy. It's so oh, crazy. man. Um, here's a crazy pitch. What if we took a 10-second phone break? Just 10 seconds. Right now? Just right now to get it out of the way so we never have to look at it again. See, that's so funny because that tells me a lot about who you're the assistant to because yeah. if I took 10 seconds, there's no way it's going to be 10 seconds. Yeah. If I make myself available, I'm I'm making my night available. Right, 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 right. right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I think okay. we're good. I think we're then good we right now. Then we won't do it. Then we won't do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 10 seconds to me is a drive to the deli, yeah. and I, 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 I just don't have it in me. Right. <laughs> I mean, you guys blocked it out, right? Like, you blocked out this time. We're allowed to, we're allowed to take time to ourselves. Like, I'm, Oh, I, of course. I read this book about something called self-care lately, and it's, like, really awesome because <laughs> you can – you actually are allowed to care about yourself. So I think it's uh -huh. important that we yeah. do that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. And I try to block it out on the calendar, but I don't think they even look at the calendar. <laughs> no, because I'm, I'm I'm putting it on his calendar, but he doesn't um, look at the calendar. It's my yeah. job to look at the calendar. Well, the so calendar really, I'm just is putting for it, I'm us. blocking it out for myself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. My, my, my boss does look at the calendar because they do figure out what I do wrong on it. So they're definitely looking. Yeah. They're definitely looking. Oh, okay, well, who's your boss? Who's your boss? Yeah, Let's talk. Well, I am uh, the... Uh, What's your name? What's your name? Who's your boss? Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll get to it. I'm circling back to that, okay? My name is Scotty Stevens, and I am the uh, executive assistant to uh, Diana Bacon. Uh, she is the president of... Superstar Pictures, uh, recently uh, uh, acquired by Lionsgate for its ambitious, independent, rogue style. Um, she is uh, really, really, really incredible. Diana is uh, a superstar herself, and it's awesome to be involved. Um, and and, and she's, she's so cool. She's teaching me a lot. I've been her assistant for three and a half years. Oh, wow, that's a long that's time. that's great. And I've heard of her, and she's great. I've heard of her. She's, she's great. Like, it's, a tight, it's a tough desk. It's a tough desk. It's a hard mm -hmm. desk, but mm -hmm. it's, it, it's a good mm -hmm. desk. The stuff we're getting to do, I'm really excited about, it, and it's really amazing. And I don't know how she fits it all in in the day. Well, I mean, I do know because I'm the one who coordinates her day, but, man, she is working. She's yeah. working. Mm -hmm. Diana is mm -hmm. a really impressive woman. Mm. And so are you. Okay, well, I'll go next. I am Melissa Sarah. I am the assistant at the desk of um, agent powerhouse Debbie Katz. Um, I've been working with her for six months now, and um, uh, it's it's a lot. It's a lot, mm -hmm. uh, but it's fantastic. It's such a great experience, um, and I can't wait to you know continue to learn from her and continue to grow. Um, and I just love it. I love every second of it. Mm -hmm. Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You do I, love it. I love it. I can tell you love it. I can I tell. No, it's so <laughs> it's so good. Every second yeah. of it is really good. It's so rewarding. And it's so rewarding and I'm learning so much. 
We've never uh, met in person, but I've emailed no. you a lot. Because yeah. We've been, yeah, and, and you are the fastest replier I think I actually have ever worked with. My, my, um, my, my words per minute yeah. is um, it's, it's 200 on a computer and 300 on an iPhone. Mm. Wow. That's nice. That's insane. So That's I'm, I'm, I'm fast. I'm <laughs> speedy. That's, That's awesome. crazy. That's awesome. Uh, well, hi, guys. My name is Jimmy Joan. Uh, and I am the assistant uh, for Miley Cyrus's friends and animals. Um, it's a great, <laughs> great so job. All of, all of them? All of her friends. That's she awesome. Miley does this really fun thing where she lets her assistant have, or her friends have an assistant, and also all of her animals. <laughs> and she is such a nut. She has so many animals. It's such a, it's such a wild and crazy time. So do they like block off certain times where you are their assistant? Like, do is it like a timeshare where the friends? Get them on no, it's kind it of just, just kind of like shooting all the time. It's kind of like a run and gun. Like they just, you know, text me all the time. It's really fun and really silly. Because um, sometimes, you know, I'm trying to be uh, Jennifer's assistant, and then I have right. to be Milo's assistant. Right. And uh, you know, sometimes they're in a fight, they're breaking <laughs> up, and I have to be both of their assistants and deal with that. You, <laughs> you can't possibly be full time for all those people, right? I, I am full time for all of them, but oh. they counted as part time for all. So I'm just getting paid as Miley's assistant but she's kind of, you know, made me all of their assistance plus her animals assistance. So no health insurance. No health insurance. No, definitely not. No, definitely not. Her her pets do have health insurance, mm. but I do not have health insurance. Awesome. Yeah, it's so wacky, you know, just getting into the world of Miley and just understanding like she's such an artist and she's such a great person. So she has a main assistant that's just for her and then I'm kind of that sub assistant that's for her friends and animals. Um so yeah, it's it's a it's a wild and crazy world out here in Hollywood. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> hey guys, um, I'm Tyler, um, and I'm the assistant for Darlene Sachs Weber, um, Andrew Lloyd Weber's wife. Um, wow. wow. Do you get a lot of activity at that job? Uh, yeah. Um, she may not be busy with work, but boy, is she busy with her demands. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I graduated. Um, NYU, and I just, I uh, wanted to get into Broadway, um, producing. Um, I'm just Tyler. You're just Tyler. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. That's yeah, really no, cool. That's, that's cool, really man. cool. That's, yeah. So you live in New York City? Yeah. That's really cool, man. I've been in New York a bunch of times. It's really fun. Yeah, to yeah, I've been meaning to go out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Darlene splits her time between New York City and uh, uh, New York City and Fort Lauderdale. Oh, oh yeah, because wow. that's where Andrew Lloyd Webber lives half the year, yeah. right? Tax no. haven in Fort Lauderdale. Not London. No. Well, Andrew does. Darlene has a mind of her own, <laughs> <laughs> meaning a condo of her own, where she does stuff that I really can't. I can't. I'm so nervous because I have so many secrets. Right. Right. right that's right, what's. Right. Um, that's what's I think right. that's the about elephant this. in the room yes, for it's, all it's, of us. Nobody's what's, breaking their NDA yeah. today. I've already no. brought up the about condo. This is that we are inherently all about to break our NDAs yes. in kind of like a very yes. deep way. Yeah. Um, and so I am a little anxious about that. Mm -hmm. um, and I just want to say I shouldn't have said that Jennifer and Milo had a breakup. That was actually wrong of me. That's under NDA. And I know I they did promise that. not to release this for um, six months, so that gives us time to uh, set our affairs in order yeah. sure. and um, sure. run if we need to. Yeah. 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 Well, and six months from now is when Diana said technically I was potentially going to become uh, a producer of the company. So right. at that point, that's a different... <laughs> That's a different type of NDA, so so that's that, that that doesn't cover it. So if this were to come out, then we can retroactively make sure it works, and we can figure that out. So mm. I'm all good. I'm yeah. all good. Every every four months, my contract, um, the assistance contract for uh, Debbie is on a um, R or P basis. Mm. So basically, a re re rehire or promote. Rehire or promote. So, like, she has to she has to press a button and then figure out like what where you go next. Mm. Um, but it's like a hard deadline, like first of the month on that fourth month. Like she is making the decision if you're staying or if you're going up. And so, oh. so that's coming could, up for me in a couple only, months. only there's only two options there. There's only two options. Um, so sometimes you can. So here's the thing: you can get rehired again. But you can't do it in consecutive cycles. So you can audition again to be her assistant. Yeah. But oh, do you, you have can't... to audition? Yeah. 
Um, it's a contemporary and a Shakespeare. Mm. That's, in, oh, that's, that's incredible. You have to that's, do a monologue. You have to yeah. do a monologue. <laughs> yeah, I do. You wow. do it. She says you can tell everything you need to know about a person and the way, what kind of agent they'll be based on what they do in the what monologue. What contemporary monologue based did you Based off of choose? what they do with Shakespeare? Um, yeah, based on what they do with Shakespeare. So I did, I, um, I ate the divorce papers ketchup, or my, Charles, I ate them with ketchup, that mm. monologue. Is that Christopher Durang? What is that? <laughs> 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 It's, Which monologue is that? Well, I mean, nobody <laughs> knows where this monologue is from. We all just know it. It's, I it's, ate it's, the divorce it's... papers, Charles. I ate them with ketchup, and they tasted good. Good. I, I went to NYU. That's Christopher Drake. Is it Christopher Drake? <laughs> I believe it is. I've never known who said it or what. These words have just been in my bones for years, so I... I didn't even bother. You didn't have to, to memorize or anything. Okay. No, just, it's just in me. It sounds in your bones. so refreshing to like have a reevaluation. Darlene just looks at me and goes, "You're never getting rid of me, kid." Oh, that's fun. <laughs> oh. And, and when she says that, it's just like it's so hard to like picture a future or a life, oh, you know? Tyler, yeah, because you're just being Tyler. Right? I'm just, I'm just being Tyler. Just, just how long Tyler. have you been her assistant? Uh, so I, it's been six months now. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, and yeah, I just. She caught me when I was on my skateboard. I ran into her. <laughs> I was she flagged you down and yeah, needed I was, an I was, assistant? Uh, skateboarding down um, Manhattan, believe it or not. Think What an to, NYU student thing to do. Yeah. especially when Trying to find Brooklyn. Because <laughs> I'm just like, sometimes I'm like insane. And I'm just like, I'm Tyler. And uh, I, I, she had an umbrella sticking out. And my s skateboard went over her umbrella. And somehow caused her to trip. <laughs> and um, ever since then, she's never getting rid of me. Hmm. But it sounds nice that you could like reevaluate. So your was contract. she kind of angry when she hired you off the skateboard? Like, does it seem like a revenge sort of thing, or was this like you have potential? It was kind of like, um, you know, in uh, Beauty and the Beast, that movie, when the old lady gives him a, a rose yeah. and he becomes a beast. It seems like ever since I ran into Darlene, um, I've gotten caught in a web of my own. <laughs> and I, my friends just keep going, Tyler, you're being Tyler. And I go, I don't know when this is going to end. Are you going to cry, man? You all right? No. So you're, you're, so you're okay, right? No, I'm really fine. Um. Forgive me. Sometimes when I talk about my job, I get a little, a little emotional. I get it, man. Assistant is an emotional <laughs> job. Mm -hmm. We put ourselves out there. We work really, really hard. And sometimes you feel invisible. Sometimes you feel like nobody is looking for you. Sometimes you feel like you're stuck in a specific mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. I'm actively very radically open with Diana Bacon. Me and her, we <laughs> share a really tight relationship. Everything I, she, she's radical in the way that she wants me to tell her every single thing that's going on, every single thing. So I have to text her all the feelings that I have every time I have them. And oh, wow. I have to kind of compile them to one text a day. So I, I keep a feelings journal and then I send them at the end of the day of how I feel so she knows where I'm at. She really cares about everything I'm up to all the time. She wants to make sure that what I'm doing reflects on her and that it all works out in order to make sure that Superstar Pictures is exactly what it needs to be. We have a really close relationship. I would consider her my best friend. I would consider her my oh, mother. Wow. I would consider her my confidant. I would consider her my ride or die right now. That's insane. I love hearing that. That reminds me of my relationship with Motorbike. Uh, my, is Motorbike a person or an animal? It's an animal. It's uh, Miley Cyrus's golden retriever, and he is wild. He's a blast, very demanding as a dog, but I just feel like I can really relate How do you know what he's demanding? Oh, so basically what happens is... Um, he'll be running running around the house because uh, Miley will just every morning will just let all the dogs out um, and all the animals out and it's just a fun game we do I have to kind of like collect them all in the morning uh, oh god try to get all the animals I imagine back. her assistant her personal assistant's there doing things meanwhile you have to find all those dogs well I heard about this through a little bit of assistant gossip oh yeah right? assistant, assistant Facebook group yeah. we'll talk assistant about Facebook Facebook group. Group. let's talk about awesome assistants I love awesome assistants I was so sad when awesome assistants was legitimately shut down because they shared the Joker script <laughs> <laughs> so sad about Awesome Assistants. When so that went down. sad. I can't so believe sad. somebody shared the Joker script a year before the Joker came out on Awesome Assistants. Ruined it for all of us. Okay, but there still is the housing one. Oh yeah, and that's, that's still very happening. useful. It's really helpful. It's super useful. It's really helpful. What I want to tell you, man, you is gotta be that careful in the housing group. They release scripts too. They release. Oh yeah. Too. <laughs>
They, it's in. Yeah. That's why you always have to check. Well, the they listing. they don't yeah. release it. They use it as kind of like two bedroom fifteen hundred. Also, you'll get the script yeah. of Pride and Prejudice. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. When I heard Joker Two was coming out, I said, "Let's brace, let's brace Awesome Assistance housing because I can't lose another Awesome Assistance." I, can't I see you posting all the time saying, "No Joker Two script here." No, it's pinned. It's pinned. I do. How no do Joker you have time script. to mod that group? Well, Diana does it with me. Diana wants to be involved. So we sit <laughs> oh, down. And she likes to go on my social media with me to see what I'm seeing to make sure that what I'm seeing. Uh, aligns with her vision. What I wanted to say about what I saw on the Awesome <laughs> Assistance Group uh -huh. is I saw that Miley Cyrus uh, trained all of her dogs with dog buttons, but they're only assistant orders, yeah. right? So if you know Bunny the dog on TikTok, it's very of similar course. to that. So they all have, they all the animals have different sets of buttons with demands and wants and needs. <laughs> and there's no pleases or thank yous. It's just mostly one word things like treat, 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 food, 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 food <laughs> walk, walk, pee, 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 bark, 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 attack, 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 attack. It's so, weird there's a button for bark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's the one thing they have covered? Well, that's motorbike never barks. <laughs> motorbike will never bark. He'll just hit the button a lot. He'll hit the bark button that's a lot. Almost worse. Why is there? Why is there a bark button? <laughs> no, there's a bark button because sometimes the dog wants me to bark, and that's what I can I imagine. Am. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, a lot of it is God. either they're trying to bark, 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 bark. Like motorbike will always be pressing this bark Wait. button, bark button. But then uh, Skylar, one of her favorite bunnies, will hit the bark button for me to bark. For me. To bark. Okay, that makes sense because for me, if I were to be making dog buttons, I'd be getting dog buttons buttons because I'm asking, what are the dogs thinking? And I don't think that the dogs are thinking bark. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> I imagine they're saying something with their bark. So you so wouldn't believe how many times dogs are thinking bark. I've, I've never. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I've never really thought that when a dog is barking, he might be trying to communicate to me, bark. Yeah, yeah, you Yeah, and that's something, that's a love. huge blind spot we have. I think we're so wrapped up in the industry that we don't think about sometimes people say what they mean. Yes. When we, so when we hear someone right. say, let's get lunch, we know that that means like, hey, how are you? We're never going to get lunch, but like, you know what? Exactly. Sometimes bark means, means bark. bark. Yes. And that's so refreshing. <laughs> it's so refreshing, man. Just it's, say what you mean. And dogs are saying what you say. Say what you mean. Me so what you fake. say. That's what that's what animals are. They're like straight to the punch. And it's crazy that we've been hearing them bark and we think it's something else. Yeah. It's it's crazy. <laughs> Why it's a, would it it's not It's such just a be human that? thing. It's such a human thing to think that your dogs are speaking to you when actually they just mean bark. Yeah. <laughs> Diana's gonna be thrilled when I tell her about this. She's gonna be thrilled oh, that's to hear fantastic. that. It, 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 we're working on a movie about dogs right now that I can't talk about at all, but let's just say a dog is involved. And <laughs> This movie features dogs, and this is something that involves dogs. So she's going to be happy to hear it. That's awesome. That's amazing. That's, That's awesome. And I will say, Debbie and I have sort of a, a a similar system to the buttons thing, where I'll just pick up the phone when she calls, and she'll say email, and I'll have to figure out what that means. <laughs> Oh no. And uh -huh. so we have to go through a series of like it's almost like an algorithm where I have to ask. Um, okay, from who? And then she'll say client. Mm -hmm. And then I just have to rattle off names. Yeah. And yeah. it the the timer of how fast I have to respond keeps going down and down and down and down and down uh -huh. until I have to figure out what's going on. Do you figure it out? You have A to. lot of the time, yeah. Good. It's uh, a lot of good. putting together context clues. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Um, this is actually a really, based on that, you know, that I was thinking about the times maybe you didn't figure that out. Uh, this is a difficult thing to talk about. How sure. do your bosses punish you for doing things wrong? Oh, man. Mm. That's a really good question. And mm. I say punish, which is a harsh word, but it is exactly what I mean. Because uh, bosses to assistants typically punish them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because we do things wrong. This is their life that yeah. we're we're toying with, that we're I mean, fiddling with. If you're you not know? an assistant messing up once a week, I mean, you're an amazing assistant if you're only messing up once a week yeah. because this yeah. job is taxing. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah, but it's also like our bosses aren't going to do like course correct. They're going to punish. Yeah. You know, right? Right. Because it's their lives at stake. Right. What's Mrs. Lloyd Webber do? <clears throat> oh boy, <laughs> uh, she loves to throw Shirley Temple's at my head. <laughs> Your head. <laughs> Full glass of Shirley Temple. So Take it. This really and is mommy dearest. It. So energy. does she yeah. order the Shirley Temple yeah. when she's about so to So that's punish. when she I know shit hit the fan. For the server yeah. to bring it. You, don't you know, like that. You know when your boss like will clock a couple things wrong, but she's waiting for like one other thing. Like it's some like with, with Darlene, it takes a couple times mm -hmm. in the day for me to mess up. It's never on the first mess up, which I'm thankful for. Yeah. Um, but it freaks me out because then I know uh here it comes, you know. And uh she'll just stop what she's 
she's doing and she'll say, waiter, can I get a Shirley Temple extra oh, yeah. ice? Um, and I know that thing's coming straight from my forehead. I hear that. I hear yeah. that. Sometimes I can take my long board and I try to chuck it. Um, chuck my long board to like somehow meet. At the waiter? Or no, at, the... at the Shirley Temple to like stop it. You know? Mm. So oh, you try and hit it midair. She's she's throwing an ST at you and you're throwing a long board at her? <laughs> Not exactly. I'm throwing the long board at the Shirley Temple. Okay. Okay. Um, Does it hit her sometimes? Uh, this is where we get into NDA stuff. Uh, <laughs> you know what? You Let's sign an NDA if you, if you hit her. <laughs> Let's go with your long board. <laughs> yeah, I made her sign an NDA. <laughs> I think you can talk about it. Yeah. If she oh yeah. An NDA. I'll just you break. Wait. I'll break the NDA. You I made your sign. boss sign an NDA. That's, Tyler, that's insane. How'd you do that? Tyler, that's the ballsiest move that's, I've ever yeah, heard. Yeah, that's in really, insane. honestly, really? very cool. Yeah. That's so cool, man. Really? That's sick, dude. That's so cool. That's sick. Yeah, she just scared the shit out of me. She scared the living shit out of me. When I when that longboard hit her face and it ruined ruined her Botox, she scared the shit out of me. She grabbed me and and then I said, I'll tell you, I'll tell people you grabbed me. Cause I will say sorry, it's getting dark. Um That's what life is. I will hey, say that's, that's what life assistant, is. Assistant lifestyles changed when Twitter came. Yeah. Yeah. Like it was like when that longboard hit her face was kinda like the glass ceiling breaking. And it was kinda like me being like I can hold you accountable too. Mm. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. And that's when I said, you need to sign this NDA um, that says I never threw a longboard at you. So So that's less of an NDA and more of like a lie. <laughs> <laughs> but respect, like, man. Respect. But, that, but it. no, that's awesome though. That's I mean so awesome. I think it's just because I, I'm constantly holding all these NDAs. And yeah. sometimes I just like so use maybe it for other stuff. So she's also getting you to sign NDAs that are lies. And she's having other people do it too. <laughs> oh, so this woman's walking around with a bunch of NDAs. She just likes me to have them on handy. Okay. Mm. Just in case. Yeah. Those and toothpicks. Yeah. So what's your what's your day like, I guess? Just really quick. Um, she wakes up at three and PM or AM? PM. Okay. Easy a day. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that is an easy day. That is pretty good. Easy That's an day. easy day. That's time. pretty good. Easy I don't. I take so. a couple Shirley Temples to the head if yeah. it means yes. getting up after five a.m. What time are you guys waking up? Uh, five a.m. As soon as her rooster starts crowing, I gotta be out of my house. <laughs> I gotta be out of my house. Yeah. Three. Yeah. It's three for me. It's p.m. Uh, a.m. So we're twelve. We're twelve hours apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's, How it's late do you work? Um, I go straight till seven a.m. Okay. So she's a well, night owl. She's a yeah. kind of an, uh, yeah, an insomniac type yeah, of thing. Yeah, no. Oh, she has insomnia in a big way. Um, yeah, and she needs martinis uh, hourly. Hourly. <laughs> hourly. Yeah. Hourly. And so she doesn't drink Shirley Temples. No, no. She just uses Those them are just for throwing. Throw. No, she knows cherries make me nauseous. Mm. Ugh, that's the worst one. That's when so... your boss knows your weakness. Yes. Oh, no. Yeah. I... Debbie, my, her punishment for me for when I when I fuck up, she'll just say jelly beans, and I know what that means. What does it mean? I have to go to the CWA office, and I have to go to the jelly bean room, and that's where the assistants are made to count jelly beans one by one until they get through the whole jar. Ugh. Yeah. Is that, that like to like learn your lesson? Your and that is your it's, specific torture? That's my specific torture. There are different rooms for different assistants. For some people, it's baseball. They just yeah. hate it. Mm, they just yeah. hate throwing throwing it. I, I heard that uh, J.K. Rowling got the idea for the Ministry of Magic uh, for the fifth book of Harry Potter from the CWA. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's yeah. like the room of requirement except exactly. for mm -hmm. um, That was on Awesome evil. Assistants. They, they, uh, J.K. Rowling's assistant posted that on Awesome Assistants. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. crazy because I'm actually uh, drawing a comic book right now about a boy who throws uh, Shirley, who defeat who uh, uh, it defeats Shirley Temples. Great. Maybe just send it to us. Yeah. Sounds yeah, awesome. Will, yeah. That sounds great. I'd love to check it out. Oh, sounds I'd awesome. love to check it out. Even if you want to get yeah. drinks and bounce things around, like I'd love to check that out. Yeah. I would love that. Well, why I would actually lunch? love to read Let's... that. Maybe we could create a support group for each other because I'd love yeah, to read yeah, yeah, you yeah. guys' stuff and give some notes as well. That would yeah. be really notes. cool. I would I love, love notes. I love, yeah, yeah. I have got so many things I'm working on, so I, I'd yeah, love to get Yeah, that would be great. I'd love to give you some notes and I could also receive some feedback, but overall I'd love to give notes. Okay, so you guys wake up at 3 a.m. What's the first thing you're doing? Well, yeah. So, well, I'll answer. I'll answer the punishment mm -hmm. question too. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, I go forgot ahead. About that one. So, Diana Bacon, uh, she likes to punish me by taking me to Nobu and having a really nice meal. So, if I screw up, she she pampers me, 
And she shows me the life that I will give up if I ever screw up again. Oh my oh. God. It's really beautiful. It's a beautiful moment. She's really nice to me. She's the nicest yeah. she's ever been to me. And when she's nice to me, I know that I fucked up. And it's a great way for her to let me know because Otherwise, she's clear, she's open, she's direct. And then yeah. when she starts being nice, they say, oh my God, she's doing something. She's treating me like a stranger. Mm. That's really sinister. So yeah. she's like almost like if, when she's distant, the worst thing that happens to you is she gets a little distant? Exactly, exactly. Because I crave her and I need her. I need her in my life. She's important for me and she has- You crave her? I crave her in a in a in an establishment way. I crave her, you know, like like you crave a, a subway system. You know what I mean? I crave her for her structure. I crave her for the opportunity. Not, not right. a subway sandwich. Actually, a subway that's so system. true. And I crave so, the other day when I crave a transportation system. Yes, yes, that's so like true. That the other day yeah. I, I I was craving a train. Yeah, exactly. Because you need to get from one place to the other place, and so that yeah. oh, I could really use this. Mm -hmm. And you're craving a train. I crave her like a I crave an airplane. I it, it's she's she's vital mm. to get me where I need to. go. Go. Mm -hmm. She's important, and if I lose that, I'm lost and I'm stuck. Mm. So I never want that. And if she starts, or she says my name wrong, or she'll do some other stuff like that. Oh, and I go, oh my God, she's acting like I don't exist. Uh, you know, and it, it spirals me. It spirals me, mm -hmm. and so I have to, uh, I have to uh, do a hot yoga class. Uh, and I have to film myself doing it, and then I have to send it to her to show that I'm uh, punished. And That's sweat. really not that bad. That's like good sushi and hot yoga. Yeah, exactly. But it feels bad, right? And I yeah, think it's for a mental life, mental war. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's just <clears> important. <throat> Punishment is important. She's told me, and I I agree. I think I'm bad. Sometimes I'm naughty. I'm naughty, and I'm, I'm and I'm naughty, and I'm bad, and I, I actually don't. I don't do the right things a lot of the time. And I'm actually a loser and I'm a freak. So it's really helpful for her to kind of come in and help me out with that. Yeah, wow, with wow. the sushi like that. Yeah, totally. Like, that's insane. You know, I'll say every friend and animal is different in terms of sure. punishment. You know, yeah. most of the animals are bite, growl, bark um, <laughs> type of thing, constrict. And you know. do what do they mean when they growl? Do you think they just mean growl? <laughs> or do, is there something else well, to it? Oh my God, this yeah. This is the interesting thing is when they growl, I, I assume they're trying to tell me, oh, back off or you've done something wrong. But when uh -huh. they press the button growl, I don't know what the fuck they mean. Is that a playful <laughs> growl? There's no real inflection in the growl there. there. It's just a like growl, growl, It could growl, be like growl. a sarcastic sort of flirty like growl. Yeah, like- I imagine it changes for animals too. Like when a bunny growls. Oh, one of the worst buttons is the cat's meow. <laughs> That sucks because they could just say it. Yeah, they could just say it. I believe that from a cat, though. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And, yeah, that and the friend's punishment, a lot of them get distant, but a lot of them <laughs> really, really rail into me. Like, Axel will send me mean photos. He'll threaten big, big moves. You know, he's crazy. He's a wild child, that guy. Um, so, yeah, it just depends on the moment and the and the mm -hmm. person I'm assisting at, at that moment. Totally. You know? So that's, that's pretty crazy. crazy. Yeah. Totally. I would love to know a time from you guys where you, I mean, we're talking about punishment, but what's a time when you messed up, when you like, oh, what, like assistant yeah. disasters? Because yeah. I can tell you one time, because my routine with Debbie is, you know, I wake up and then she calls me and she goes, remind me. Mm. And I go, okay. And at this point I read off a list of who her friends and family are and um, I'll say, She'll say Michael, and I'll say brother. And she'll say, got it. Sarah, sister, got it. So you're reminding her of family? Of, yeah, I'm reminding her of her family. I'm reminding her of her clients. And then she goes breakfast, and I say granola. And she says, got it. It feels so, like less about reminding her she has family, but more just like labeling what each is. <laughs> like just like yeah. associating the cat. Like it's the sort of category. like audio flashcards. Um, <laughs> that we have to review it every day because she doesn't know where she is at any given moment. Uh. And so it's tough. <laughs> she also doesn't know how to, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm good, I'm good, I'm listening. Are you sure? I'm good, yeah, I just, I'm dealing with something. What are you dealing with? Your Nothing. phone looks no like worries. waves. Your phone is moving so fast. No worries. I'm just dealing with something real quick. What are you dealing with? I'm good. I'm good. You, I'm listening. Just go ahead. Did you fuck up? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> what did you do? I'm just good. I'm good. I'm all good. I'm, you, I'm, go ahead. So your mom and your, your dad. That is like, the longest calendar description I've ever seen. <laughs> I, just miss, I, just, I, just, I just missed something really quick. And I'm going <laughs> to. Okay. And I got a, I just got a, I got a Google invite to go okay. to the Ivy. Yeah. Tonight, so that's. It's bad news, but I'm good. <laughs> okay. I'm good. 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 That's great. That's great. That's great. Let's keep. We're good. We're yeah. Good. One so. of one of them, I guess one of the the one of the worst. Yeah. No. Go oh, ahead. Oh no go no ahead. no. Okay. Oh no. What's okay. going? No. Are you? 
Oh, he just, oh, he had no. to run out. He had to run out. He had to run oh, out. Oh, God, left. do I know what that's like. Oh, that's I've been there. so tough. I've been there. One time a parakeet got out, and that was me. That was me. I had to sprint around all of Los Feliz and just trying to find this parakeet. Did uh, you find him? Yeah, I did. Oh, in a bad way? No, it's a positive. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, thing. cool. I found it. It was, a, it was not the worst But we're worst talking time. about mess-ups, like when you mess up. So one of the worst times I've messed up is actually I drove my car and hit one of our friends. Um, it was this That's cre- a big mess up. Yeah, it was a disaster on the day. Well, basically what happens is I live at Miley Cyrus's in Miley Cyrus's back house, mm-hmm. basically. I live in Miley Cyrus's back mm-hmm. house. She's got this beautiful mansion and I live in the back of it and I pay rent. Um, so one time I was just reversing my car. Turns out Miley Cyrus was having a rager all night and a lot of her friends were hanging out right outside of the garage. Um, so I ended up hitting like two or three of her friends who I'm assisting to. Oh, like a few, like, like a, a Zamboni. Few. Oh, so it wasn't one. Like a Zam- Well, you know when you start reversing and it's early in the morning and you just don't know what you're doing, so you accidentally ding, 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 right, ding, ding. Right, right. That's, t- that's like pretty colossal yeah, in t- terms I'll of mistakes. Yeah, I'll tell you, the text messages I got, ugh, awful, 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 awful. Oh. Yeah. God. Also, did I interrupt yours because you were saying you do Oh, no, I was just going to say, um, oh, yeah, it was it was a mess up with the flashcards. Yes. I, she said, um sun and i said nighttime and she got that whole confused the whole rest of the day oh, so she, she called her son nighttime <laughs> did she call him nighttime <laughs> yeah she called her son nighttime um and she thought that that was the word she thought that that was his name and why and were you saying nighttime in the beginning yeah, well because trying- i thought we were talking about i thought she was asking me when the sun was out and I said nighttime because I screwed up. I yeah, just, it I does really feel like a screw up, up on your part. It feels like you're going from categorizing the people in her life and who they are, and then just like basic kindergarten. <laughs> right. Like, well, she logic. needed that. Like normally, need- we need to go through like this is the time of day and this is what it looks like. Um, this is because she doesn't. You know, she's not on Apple Calendar. She's not on Google Calendar. Mm. I run all of that, and so everything needs to be sorted for her. And so she really didn't know what was going on. And so I have to go back to basics. But I was also answer- answering another email at the same time um her astrologist and her um her therapist uh were in at odds they were double booked oh i hate that when they're at odds <laughs> they were oh. double booked and fighting oh no so oh. i was a little distracted and i just threw out nighttime and then she said that i really embarrassed her because um she referred to her son as <laughs> nighttime when she was talking about hey, a violent buddy. recital oh, it's kind hey, of, hey, hey how's so it sorry. going so sorry guys what happened? Isn't it fucking crazy there's two Four Seasons in Los Angeles? Like, there's a Four Seasons. <laughs> yeah. Technically, the Beverly Wilshire's a Four Seasons. Yeah. A four season, and there's restaurants in both of them, and they're both named the same thing. Yeah. Isn't that mm. fucking yeah. crazy? That, that, that's, yeah. that's, that happens that. with the W, too. Yeah. W2, There's yeah. so yeah. many W's. Speaking of, do you guys sign W2's or 1099's? Oh, I'm, I'm, w- Venmo. I'm W2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh my God! I I think I think this is a I'm no offense. I just don't see the path. Well, this I'm actually trying to become a writer actor, and I think there's oh, a clear okay. path here. Okay. A clear path here with Miley's friends. Yeah. Are you uh, are you guys all trying to be like? Where is? What's the next? What's the goal? What's the end goal? Yeah. So basically, my goal is to use maybe some of the animals' connections. To- <laughs> <laughs> to what meet mice? Uh, that's a funny idea. Very funny nice. pitch. Almost, hey, 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 almost hey, like hey. a script that I'm writing. Sorry, I, I just I've got so many ideas bouncing off hilarious. my head. No, but yeah, a lot of the animals meet have mice. great Hollywood connections. So I'm just trying to like be in the right place at the right time and maybe jump to a different place. Maybe jump to a different animal. Mm-hmm. Maybe jump mm-hmm. to a different room and mm-hmm. use that. Uh, you know, pitch some of my scripts, get notes, and just get uh, get a little closer. You know, but hey, it's a clear path. It's hey a really guys, clear path. yeah. I didn't get to answer the question about the biggest mistake. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. What did you do, Tyler? Let's hear it, Ty. And I'm trying to, like, just advocate for myself more. My (laughs) my therapist told me that, so. I'm so happy you're in therapy. Yeah. That's incredible. Thank you. It really seems great. Thank you. That's great. Uh, Darlene originally wanted me to see her vibes therapist. Oh. And I was like, I don't think that's real. Whoa. Did you see? To be honest, man, 
you are as confrontational as I am to Diana Bacon, and she asks for it. You are really, you say a lot of crazy shit. You're standing up for yourself. No, I have to. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, 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 don't. Please. I was done. I was done. Biggest mistake I ever made was Darlene. Uh, one day at 3 p.m. woke up and went outside and I went, wait, slow down, slow down. And I was, because we had a couple of appointments that day. And I was like, slow down, slow down. And then she was like, um, she got in the cab and she looked at me and she said, catch me. <laughs> and the cab uh, went. Catch me if you can day. <clears throat> and I had to find her that day. Right. Uh, Do you guys ever have those? Yeah, Diana, Diana calls them Waldo days. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's so tough. Yeah, yeah Waldo Day. And it feels like, what is this productive? What is it about? Like, why are we? What? It's a mental game. I think that what they're doing to us is just trying to break us down and put us to the edge so we get yeah. stronger. You know, it's, it's hard because Debbie will ask, "Where am I?" And then I have to figure that out. And sometimes I genuinely don't know mm -hmm. if it's between calls. Yeah. I don't know where she is, and so I'm like, "Well, what does it look like?" And she'll say, "Well." Oranges, apples, bananas, cold, very cold. And I'll have to be like, grocery store. Right. Mm -hmm. And right. then she goes, why am I here? How do I get home? Yeah. And then I have to do a lot of detective work to figure that uh, out. Let me tell you, the one of the worst phone calls I can get is just a random number calls me and I just hear a button. Where, 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 where? And it's, you know, one of the dogs have gotten out, yeah. you know? They have a button for your phone number? They have a, so I think what's happening. <laughs> it's button think, systems. I think crazy. what's happening, because usually what it feels like is either they've, they've managed to grab somebody's phone with their mouth or yeah. a kind stranger has dialed the number on their uh, call. Caller, which is a direct number to my number, not to Miley's, and then they'll hit their button. Each of them carry around a little button vest. So yeah, that's what they'll do. That's rough. Yeah. That's tough. Yeah. I uh, Diana definitely loves to do cash me if you can days. She we call mm -hmm. them Waldo days. She likes to she likes to be found, and she almost yeah. treats it like a challenge. And if I screw up. She takes me out to a nice dinner, and it feels awful. So she goes to really busy places. She goes to red carpet events. She goes yeah. to the running of the bulls. I had to fly to Pamplona in four hours. I had to find the fastest jet I could. I had to pay for it myself in order to find her in the mass of people for running of the bulls. Yeah. And it was really, really hard. But I always feel like I learned something, and I'm yeah. so grateful mm -hmm. for those opportunities. She is a genius, and mm -hmm. she has gotten me to do things I never thought I would do. And so I would follow her to the ends of the earth, and I have. I yeah. have, mm. you know? And it, it, it's incredible, and it's impressive. And, you know, I wish, I hope all of you guys get a boss like Diana Bacon because she is. She really sounds amazing. great. She sounds great. She's really great, fun. and she cares about me. She cares about me yeah. like, in a crazy way. I don't think she cares about anyone else. Like, all her ex husbands, like, call me all the time telling me, like, you really don't understand what you're dealing with and, like, you don't know what she said about you. And I'm like, I know what she said about me. She said it to my face. Like, she's Do you feel like you're me. a little hypnotized sometimes? No, I'm not hypnotized. You sound exactly, exactly like my mom because she says that kind of stuff all the time. Oh. No, yeah, I get it. Mm. Yeah. It's but like, but I'm like, mom, like, you worked at a freaking Red Rocket. Red Robin. <laughs> she, oh, she worked on the movie Red Rocket? She, no, no, no. She worked in a Red Robin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, it's like, I can see why you're so messed up in the head because it's so easy for me to know that my job sucks because, like, flying beverages hit my face. Yeah. But you're going to, like, beautiful restaurants and great parties as your punishment. So I could imagine that she somehow, in some sick way, made you believe that you're a piece of shit but keeps you coming back for more. She doesn't treat me like shit. She's she's good to me. She's given me more things than I've ever gotten in my life. And that's she, why I think you won't check in with yourself yeah, because of Stockholm all the good me. stuff. Yeah. It feels a little stock call me. I'm checking in. I'm checking in all the fucking time, guys. Like, uh, are you kidding me? I got it. No, I'm sorry. I have a social life. I get blackout drunk every night. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is this is I'm so sorry, guys. I had the uh... You need a cab? Oh my, no, don't my hearing oh. aids going off. Oh, I don't no. think it's called a hearing aid. Oh, <laughs> I think no. it's called. I my, think that's not what you're my describing. Hearing aid's going off. I gotta get on my longboard. <laughs> oh my god! There he goes. Off to answer an email. I want that kid's life. That's so that easy. Three p.m. to seven a.m. Kill me. I know. I, this is what I was gonna say. Is yeah. I don't. I, I don't want to blow your load. I had the exact. Please don't blow my load. <laughs> and please don't. <laughs> I, don't. I don't want you to blow my load either. No, bro. the blow your load. You know, like blow your load. It's kind of like change your mind about something. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> what I'm trying to say is So that you've been walking around your whole life saying <laughs> Can I blow your load about something yeah, for a second? Yeah, yeah, you go Wow, Inception really blew my load. Yeah, Did you that's say exactly that? what I said about that movie, because it did blow my load. It was it was almost like a load off of me. It finally made sense. But what I was gonna say, what I was gonna say, what I was gonna say, what I was gonna say was um I had the exact same situation happen with one of Miley's lemurs. He Stockholm syndrome the shit out of me. He the way he would, you know, come up to me for cuddles and he would press cuddles button. He was so loving, but if I messed up, he would bring me treats, but almost passive aggressively. And it put, took me in a spiral of drinking. A spiral of drinking, which is very easy at the parties that Miley Cyrus throws, you yeah. know? And so I just want to watch out for you, buddy. I just want to reach oh out at Oh my hand. god. I appreciate that. Debbie just sent a question mark. And a picture of I think she's in, I think she's in the Sahara Desert. Oh no! She's there with what looks like either um, James Marsden or uh, God, maybe that's Jason Sudeikis. I really can't tell. They from look this angle. so similar, James Marsden and Jason Sudeikis. And she's, <laughs> she says, "Where are we?" It's like there's sand blocking the face. I can only see. Like, Is there vibe. just sand? Is there anything else? I'm seeing. Honestly, like, that might be Harry Connick Jr. They all three oh of them. Guys, I'm so sorry I missed the interview. Are you soaking wet? Yeah. Whoa, you're oh, so you're wet. You're really so soaking wet. wet. What happened? She's soaking wet. <laughs> oh, she <laughs> threw a huge water-based Shirley Temple at my face. Oh, oh, oh dude. Oh. Tyler. Did she trick you by saying it was by just ordering a water? Yes, it was a huge red. fat trick. I'm sorry. Tyler. I'm so oh. sorry that happened to oh you. Oh my god! It's okay. What did I miss? Well, oh, it nothing. seems like you, you're. Well, I think we cracked the case. Um, uh, Debbie is in the Sahara Desert with Harry Connick Jr. Yeah. Um, and I just have to find a way to get her back there. Yeah. To get her home. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? Now that we're saying that, my my foot is buzzing up the wazoo right now, and it probably is a dog trying to be found, or one of her friends. I mean, <laughs> it's a wild and crazy world in Hollywood. Any one of them could call me at one point, so. Yeah, do, uh, yeah. I mean, this this was a sin. Doing this was a sin. It, it was a sin that uh, that I'll probably never be forgiven for. Why don't we just all say a really big secret that we're sworn to not say? It's like something we saw, like really quick. Something we saw, we're not allowed to say. Can we just say it? And yeah, it's go. okay. Yeah, we'll we'll just say it really quickly. Yeah, okay, I I killed a man for Debbie Debbie Bacon. <laughs> I killed a man for Debbie Bacon because his screenplay was so bad. He didn't. She didn't know how to give him notes. Oh. <clears throat> what have you done? Um, I um. I took uh, Debbie Debbie's uh, son's car and I um, filled it with uh, I I planted drugs in it because she um, she needed him to go somewhere else for a while and she wanted him to go to rehab um, because she is an investor in the company and she, they were they didn't have enough people going to rehab in this one specific place and it's like this bougie like luxury hotel like rehab sort of thing and so she needed like she needed um, she needed people to like go in there to make it like look busy so she threw her son in there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and she just like needed the place to look good in the brochures, and her son does not have a drug problem. Whoa. I, um, sometimes I'll just buy new animals um, and just paint them. Sometimes I'll just paint them like the old ones. <laughs> <laughs> buy new animals and just paint them like the new ones. And, and Miley hasn't noticed yet. And she won't. Do they she, move? They, they move. Some of them are stuffed, but some of them move. And I just, and I, I can't, I've done this a lot. And most of the animals are second to third gen. And sometimes I'll do that with the friends too. I'll just pretend I'll stand as a new friend for Miley and she just doesn't even know the difference. I'm fucking Darlene so hard. Hold on. Um, Debbie, that's a tiger. Oh my god. Debbie, I just have to send a voice memo. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Yeah. Debbie? Okay. That's oh a tiger. It's so consensual. I love it, and she loves it Don't so much. It. It's not like a power thing, okay? I'm fucking her so hard, and when she throws Shirley Temples on me, I come in my pants. <laughs> hi, 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 Diana. Yes, I am very, very sorry. Yes, I am so sorry. I'll be right here. No, I'll, I'll, be, right, I'll be right there. No, 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 no. I'm naughty. And I'm naughty, and I deserve ruff, to be punished. Ruff, I deserve to be punished. Ruff, ruff. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's that's the bark of a uh, that's the bark of wrecking bull. <laughs> Her favorite dog. Also, I just want to say really quick: there's no way she's in the Sahara Desert if it's a tiger. That's a completely different continent. <laughs> oh no! I have to look at it again. This has been artist on artist on artist on artist answering the question. Now that's why they call it showbiz. Good night. 
Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists is an improvised Hollywood roundtable podcast created, performed, and produced by Kylie Brakeman, Jeremy Colhane, Angela Giratana, and Patrick McDonald. AOAOAOA is a Sugar 23 podcast. Mike Mayer and Michael Sugar executive producers, Liam Billingham producer. Production support by Angela Rostano and Anthony DeFrancesco. Music is by Gabriel Ponton. The opinions expressed on this podcast do not reflect the opinions of anyone who works on it, not even the performers, because this is an improvised podcast and we're stupid. Full video versions of AOAOAOA are available on YouTube, so please like and subscribe and leave us a five-star review wherever you get your podcasts. That's all for now. Good night, Hollywood!